With the introduction of the new Opportunity System, my brother and I have been actually undocking and leaving Jita a little more often. Some of the Opportunities require you to damage or repair another pilot, so we toss together a couple of Inquisitors as their daily ships to randomly mine with or shoot or repair each other while we're doing the other dailies. While going through some of the local gates, we spotted a few random gankers scanning haulers and other autopilot frigates and shuttles, so of course, after the raging successes of our previous baiting shenanigans, we grabbed some of our old ships with our alpha fits, and we started having some more fun at the expense of the griefers. Since this time around the focus was on autopilot ships, we decided to do what we could to maximize the passive tanks on our fragile haulers. Though surprisingly enough, a few were still looking at some active pilots on undock or even going through the gates like normal. I even got one as I was just hanging around after undocking and hadn't warped off yet. With my wreath that has almost 40,000 EHP without my active modules turned on. He did less than 5% to my shields, barely enough to realize that anything had happened at all, short of all the notification alerts. Thankfully, one of our accounts was accidentally left on auto renew and is still Omega, so we had a bit of fun with our NATO proof interceptors a few times as well. The system mostly works on gankers that aren't ship scanning, since we are tanked to the max with no cargo or agility mods. Though half of our fits are faction and dead space mods, which can also encourage the attempt at the shiny fitting. Sometimes my brother and I will also coordinate with the baiting so that the other person can pat our kill board with a NATO kill. So he'll undock and lock up the intended bait target with a passive targeting module while I warp in on autopilot. So that when they go red flashy, he presses F1 and he gets a free kill mail. As per usual when we bait the gankers, then we post the kill rights as public for 35 million. It's cheap enough to be enticing for a random passerby, or even the gankers themselves, to clean off their own kill rights so they can keep ganking with less concern of randomly being exploded. On one of the many trips next door for the daily manufacturing quest, I had spotted a pair of NATOs sitting at the autopilot landing on the Jita side of the perimeter gate. By the time I got into my hauler and back through the gate to try to bait them, they had already found the target, though it didn't look like they actually succeeded. I was at least able to see that they both had extremely cheap kill rights, so the plan was to wait about 17 minutes or so, and then head back out with my nightmare to catch them both. While I was waiting outside the station at zero on the inbound, hoping somebody would at least try for something on my, na on my nightmare, the chances were slim though with 150,000 EHP. Suddenly they had docked, and just as they were warping off, somebody activated one of the kill rights, so I immediately went to where they were sitting before, and sure enough, they went to the same spot. I managed to just barely catch the first guy right before he worked. The original plan that I had in mind for this was I was just going to land at zero right on top of both of them, lock them both up, and then activate both their kill rights. So I would grab them both, they'd both be like, what the heck just happened? And they'd both die at the same time. It was going to be a lot of fun. And then fully expecting the second nader to warp off any minute, I didn't want to spend the 20 mil on the kill right if he was just going to leave. To my surprise, the second NATO, after witnessing the demise of the first, decided the best course of action was to putter over to the wreck to loot anything he could. So of course I did my duty 
And I took the second guy out as well. The good Samaritan that activated the first kill right was kind enough to also catch their pods, even though they were nearly empty, as they returned to the station in shame. And we had a good chat about baiting and wasting Ganker's time. Every now and again, we'll even get a ganker that sends us a message curious as to why we didn't explode. Like this guy, asking if he even hit me. I said, yeah, you hit me, but just not very much. So I didn't want to tell him that I had a lot of hit points that he was never going to make it through. I almost linked the fit, but I figured that would ruin it for future attempts. So I decided to leave him wondering just what was possible, and maybe he would try again next time. At the end of the conversation, he even said, fly safe, and I responded with, the safest, and proceeded to immediately log out right after posting his kill mail for 35 million. So here's a few of our fits we've been using as our alpha pilots, as well as the interceptors we've used as their omegas. We're definitely happy to see the natives once again outside of Jita because after the first video made its rounds a few years back, we just haven't seen so many while we've been online. But at the very least, even if you aren't specifically baiting the gankers, these fits will get you and your goods safe between stations, short of a coordinated group of half a dozen or more. So remember, never fly anything you can't afford to lose. Or if you have to, then have a little fun with it and make sure that you won't lose it without them really earning it. Active fits with cheap faction or dead space mods, even on the T1 haulers, can really make them thick. But the key is to minimize the use of cargo or agility mods. Fly safest out there, friends. Thanks for watching.